Eh, fuck it, I don't care. Yeah, saw some of it. Let's just start getting annoyed. Uh, auto delay. I don't know what auto delay is, but I'm just gonna like. Yeah, I'll just keep it there. It's fine. Welcome, dearest friend, to the world of Darling Duality. Before we begin... Um... Before we... Can I, uh, can I read this? So pressing spacebar resets the whole thing? What? Before we begin, I need to run a few important things past you. Hold on, let me press spacebar real quick. Now it works? What? Firstly, I'd be positively mortified to discover you were harmed in any way by this world or its inhabitants. And so I ask that you kindly take note of the following content warnings. Flashing lights. Depiction of blood. That's fine. <laughs> I like how depiction of blood written in blood, but okay. Physical violence. Used to it. Suggestive situations. As long as I don't see anything, that's fine. Self-harm. That's fine. I do that to myself all day. Um... You're not already doing so. Wearing head, uh, head or earphones is advice in order for you to enjoy the best possible experience. I am wearing headphones. Otherwise, my mic would pick up the game sound. Similarly, I would also advise you to keep all BGM uh, sound effects and voice acting turned on for the very same reason. I didn't even know it had voice acting. Excellent. Now... Uh, that we got that nasty bit of business out of the way. I need you to know how to address... I need to know how to address you... How, how to address you throughout your time here with us. May I have your name? Ah, red. How delightful. And would you be so kind as to divulge your preferred pronouns as well? Ooh. Damn. Wow. Wait. There's an option for... For name only? Wow. They really went all out with this one, huh? I mean him, but... Damn. Marvelous. Now... Before I let you go through, you're gonna fuck. Let me move my mic. Uh, hopefully, you don't hear any fan noises. Marvelous. Now, before I let you go and enjoy yourself, it would be wise to take a moment to acclimate. Acclimate? I want you to feel at home in your new surroundings, after all. Please select the bedroom which feels the most comfortable to you. Don't think about it too deeply, just choose the one that feels right. This option is currently on- No! That one- That actually sounded interesting! That actually sounded interesting. Keep an eye on devlogs for updates to the project. Damn it, that actually sounded interesting. Like, I wanted to, to see what the options were. Oh, and there's this, there's another small matter I should mention. Um, let me out. What the fuck? Get the fuck out of my face.
No small matter I should mention. Here in this place, your choices matter. Sometimes it will merely decide how it, how an entity responds to you in the interaction you'll have with each other. However, on occasion, your decision will shape your very core and influence the options available to you throughout your journey. I love that kind of game. Now, I'm not entirely without empathy, and so I've made it easy for you to see how some of your decision will, decisions will impact your personality going forward. When you see this symbol, it means the decision you're about to make will be a kind one. This is the sort of button you only press if you fancy yourself a bit of an angel. And as you can no doubt imagine, the skull symbolizes a decision that's deliciously devilish. Simple, isn't it? I know which option I know which option I'd pick, but the choice, of course, is entirely up to you. A word of warning. Though you'll be unable to view the cumulative cost of your convictions, but until you reach the end of a chapter, by which point it could be far too late to turn back, this option is currently unavailable. Let's just choose wisely, my friend. For your chosen kindness or cruelty amongst other decisions may also impact your very sanity, along with the stability of all who dwell here. How will you know how your mind is faring? Well, I suppose that's just something you'll have to discover on your own. Surely you cannot expect one such, a, such as I to hold your hand forever now, can you? I have matters of my own to attend to. I thought this was like the game talking to me, but this is like a like a, a whole entity just talking to me. I have matters of my own to attend to. I can scarcely afford to be I can scarcely afford to babysit you, as entertaining as that may be. Remember, all of us are nothing more than a quaint collection of stories that we are that we tell ourselves. Authors of our own fates, whatever they may be. How's the mic, by the way? Like, how's the audio? You might discover that you're drawn to orchestrate unfathomable despair, only to dream of other designs upon recalling your, ex your experiences. You are the architect of your, of your memories. The audio is fine, I think. Should be fine. Alright. Um, you are the architect of your memories. A master editor. And here with me, you can choose your truth. Nothing is forever. Run along now, Red. And do try to have fun. There would be a little point... There would be little point in any of this if you don't. When you talk, a background noise can be heard, though. Can it? Oh my god, wait. Shit, wait, no, the audio isn't fine, like at all. Um. I'll just add this and see how it is on. How is it?
I kind of don't like how that sounds. Um... Not much I can do on my... Um... It was kind of quiet though. There you go. Is that better? So to be fair, this part of the game isn't exactly all that loud. I think I just need to... Farewell for now. Yeah, now it's good? Hmm. What should I do tonight? And jack off. Um... It's been pretty cold lately. So I could just spend every single day indoors where it's nice and warm. As I gaze out of my bedroom window at the scary night sky, scary at the starry night sky above, I can't help but feel somewhat small when confronted with the vastness of the universe. There's so much out there, and yet my life seems so incredibly dull most of the time. Why does nothing exciting ever happen to me? The moment that thought crosses my mind, I gasp as a star shoots across the sky. Almost as though someone out there heard my wish. I can't help but smile to myself at how perfect the timing was. They say if you wish upon the star, then your dreams will come true. Somehow, I think... It would be too much to hope for some drama in my street. Fun. Somehow, I think it would be too much to hope for some drama in my stagnant life. Huh? Who's calling me at this time? I don't recognize the number. But I don't have a choice. Hello? This is Red speaking. Who is it? Good evening. I'm a representative of the Kyaria Corporation. A sub, sub, a subsidiary of Ultra Fun Entertainment. You may remember that you recently signed up as a participant for one of our AI implant trials. Kiwawa Corporation. Kiwawa. I do, but I thought I was rejected because I only met half the criteria required. That is correct. However, we always retain records of registered volunteers. And from waiting lists to be consulted in the event of a ch change of circumstances. In this instance, I am contacting you with an offer of a place on the KIN program. Unfortunately, several participants have dropped out last minute. So we're searching for replacements. As the trial is ongoing, the need for fresh participants is fairly urgent. Consequently, should you wish to accept the placement, we will require you to arrive at the clinic no later than 8 p.m. this evening. Our kin technology is on the verge of reshaping life as we know it. Participants of this trial will play a part in forming a bright new future for humanity. May we count on your involvement in this exciting opportunity? This all seems so sudden, what should I say? Yes please, no thank you, more details. No thank you. Thanks for your consideration, but I think I'll pass on this one. Very well, thank you for your time, and enjoy the rest of your evening. But that was pretty random, I wonder what the trial's all about. I should have gone after all. It did sound a bit dodgy though. I don't want to end up like those poor souls in movies that sign up to do stuff uh, unwittingly, only to have their lives utterly destroyed. But enough daydreaming. I need to do something or I'm just going to end up sitting here all night staring out of, staring out of the window. I should... Wait. I thought the game was gonna end. Um...
play a visual novel. A little bit, uh... <laughs> it's a little... Um, check my phone for messages, go out for a walk, browse the latest news headlines, um, play a visual novel. I also should probably finish the route I'm playing since I've got some time off for a change. Hooray for holidays. I don't have to get up early for anything, so I might as well stay up late. Heck. Okay, your pick your poison. Hmm. Is there a difference? Uh, you know what? Wait, is this the character? I'm Wait, no, this is not the character I'm playing as, right? Because I'm playing as myself. So this is like, so this is gonna be like, what, well, my, my love interest, my rival, my enemy, it says pick your poison, so I'm guessing it's probably like someone who's like, gonna backstab me probably. I'll go for Gastoria. Why not? It kind of feels like I've been neglecting Castoria recently. Oh, it's just it. <laughs> it's just the character from the fucking game. All right. It kind of feels like I've been neglecting Castoria recently. I mean, I know that she's just a character in a visual novel, but still, I can't help but sigh a little as I think about what it would be like to date someone so perfect, so perfect in reality. Who am I kidding? No one even remotely similar to that exists in real life. At least not for me anyhow. The voice acting is so good by the way. Be prepared. Alright, I'll wait. No more girls are just a hassle. At least with digital <laughs> at least with digital girls there's no risk. Ah X wait, hold the fuck oh, up. You're back. It's been a little while since you last played. I was really starting to miss you, you know? Okay, yeah, the voice acting is pretty good. But I just gotta ask... What the fuck are we playing this on? Is this a fucking Game Boy Advance? <laughs> this is literally a bootleg Game Boy Advance. And we're playing the most HD looking visual novel I've ever seen. <laughs> Um, wait. Hmm. Horizontal Game Boy Advance. Yeah, that act like it actually looks like a like like a ripoff of a Game Boy Advance, but in HD. <laughs> Like, I thought he was playing this on, like, a computer or something. Like, a laptop. I don't know. <laughs> like. <laughs> didn't even know, like, boy game progression. Yeah. I don't care if she's programmed to greet me so warmly. Castoria always uh, makes my heart skip a beat. Though, she's not exactly my usual type. I feel kind of bad admitting it, but at first I didn't even want to bother playing through her route. It was more like I started it out of obligation to see all the content in the game. And besides, I won't be able to unlock the hidden character if I don't finish the other routes first. The story has grown on me a lot though. The course of her story, though, gradually... Wait, I'm stupid. Castoria has grown a grown on me a lot through the course of her story though gradually uh warming her way into my heart I miss you too castoria i have to admit i do feel a little bad for lying it's not like her but it's not like she's real you missed me too on 
Honestly, you have no idea how happy it makes me to hear you say that. Wait, so does... Wait, so does this console have, like... A... Voice detection? Like, it has a built-in microphone and she can hear what we're saying? This is the future! This is the- this is like- this is the future, but with a fucking... But with a console from 2004. Now, you already know quite a lot about me, so I think it's time I learned a little more about you. Okay. Have you been sleeping okay? No. Remember what I told you last time? If you don't get enough rest, you won't be able to function properly. It's important that you take breaks from the game for the sake of your health. Um... <laughs> I feel called out. Seriously? This crap every time I open the damn game? Come on, don't pull that face again. What? I know I'm just trying to look out for you. You're the most important thing in the entire world to me. I just need to know that you're alright. What kind of futuristic ass console is this? There isn't even a, like, there doesn't even seem to be like a, like a camera feature on it. And she can see what face we're making? What? <laughs> Hold on. I am so confused. What the fuck are we playing this on? I don't think this is a game. I think this is a video call. <laughs> Inputting my sleep data for the last few nights. I close my eyes and sigh. I already know exactly what she's about to say. I never seem to sleep too well nowadays. Only five hours per night? You shouldn't be playing with me. You should be having a nap. I want you to start taking better care of yourself for me. Please. I don't know what I'd do if anything were to happen to you. Yeah, yeah, I'll abs I'll be absolutely fine, Castoria. Same as always. I chuckled to myself a little at the concerned look on, on her sprites, on her sprites' face. Something I'm more than used to seeing at this point. Well, if you insist on continuing the game, would you like me to load your most recent save, or perhaps you have time to complete a quick survey? As always, there will be an exciting reward for your participation. Uh... I'm so curious at what kind of futuristic ass con- Well, fu not even the console, like what futuristic ass game this is. Hovering over her- over the options, there are no options. Hovering over the options, I momentarily debate using voice commands instead. They never seem to work properly anyways. I disagree, it seems like they- <laughs> It seems like they worked pretty well earlier. <laughs> they never seem to work properly anyways. So it's probably not worth bothering. I suppose I might as well take the survey since it usually results in free stuff. Selecting yes to survey, I wiggle backwards to adjust my position in bed to a slightly more comfortable one. It's funny how reading seems so much more relaxing during the night. All right, here we go. Awesome, your time is much appreciated. Don't worry, we won't ever share your personal data with anyone, so your secrets are perfectly safe with us. A part of me wonders why they even bothered making the voice actors record general menu like lines like this. I don't- honestly, I'm starting to think she's straight up sentient, like, I'm pretty sure that she's not just in the game. It's cool that they've made it so you can interact with your favorite characters more, but some of the personalities are a little off. The menu version of Castoria seems way more upbeat than her in-game self. I guess that could be to tempt players into spending more on microtransactions or something. Question on one. a Game Boy. What's your favorite color? Hmm, simple question, and yet, sometimes I still have to think about the answer. I- I don't. 
that's a that's a lie i know the answer i think i think everyone here can tell that i know can tell that i i know my favorite color what a coincidence mine too mm-hmm sure yeah right i bet the answer is the same no matter what you pick question two who's your favorite love interest in the game so far oh shit um I don't wait um I just got to ask um where are the options <laughs> Uh I guess I have to save here The options are those triangles. I can see that, but exactly what are the options? Definitely not you. You're probably the most boring character in the game because so God damn dude, I didn't think you were that mean. Man, getting tougher already. It's kinda hard to pick just one favorite. Really? I must say, that's not who I thought you'd pick. But if you say so. Artist here and scores any other character than her. Oh. Uh. Question three. Do you love me? I might as well. Sure, why not? I think we'd actually make a pretty cute couple in real life. That is not something. Ugh. Artist supposed to be put I I know, I, I read that already. But like I feel like they should probably have like the dialogue like next to the heart like cuz like because then there will probably be like maybe demo things I guess I can't believe I actually said that out loud jeez if kind of heard something like that come out of my mouth i get mocked relentlessly who the fuck is kana i see huh? all right that's all the questions we have for you today come back again tomorrow for another survey and even more rewards i think she's actually sentient thank you like... for taking the time to participate your feedback is incredibly important to us as a way to show our gratitude please accept this promotional discount coupon of 10 percent off to spend on any item in our store I think because if it gave me the the good and bad option, it means that like she's probably not just in the game. Really? Just one crappy coupon is all right. Is all I get today? That was a waste of time. Really, my eyes like a story is sincere smile as her sprite enthusiastically uh, thrust a digital coupon into the air. I back out of the survey menu. Would you like me to load your latest save data now? Or can I assist you with anything else? I feel like I heard her voice somewhere before. Also. I'm put my microphone back. Sure, go ahead and load my save. Alright, loading it is! I'm so glad you decided to continue playing my route. It means more to me than you'll ever know. Please sit back and relax. Our adventure will continue momentarily. Imagine, imagine she loads the save I just made. So now this just turns into like a never ending loop of me doing the survey. <laughs> Can you imagine? Hey Spring, how you doing? from unleashing the virus don't worry i'll help you nah i believe in nexus believe in nexus right, now i remember why i left things where i did i'm pretty sure some form of boss battle is coming up soon and i don't think i made the correct choices beforehand to beat it okay thanks that's good to know Gritting my teeth i realized i probably should have just let go of my pride and used the damn walkthrough from the beginning 
Clicking through the text anxiously, I managed to accidentally skip a couple of Kastura's voice lines. Oops. Look, I know this is difficult for you, but I also know you can do it. Even if you can't trust yourself, you trust me, right? You've got this. We can't fail. God. Shit. Um, did this stream just... Is this stream back? Shit, wait. How long has this stream been dead for? Because I saw it disconnect for a second. Uh... Is the stream back? Are we back? Uh... Not that long, don't worry. Oh, okay. I don't know if what I said came through though, because I... I was saying... Like, this... this We're supposed to be playing a visual novel inside of a visual novel. But we're playing through a boss battle? So... Unless this is like a... What is this? Like a Danganronpa thing? Where it's like a... Like a hybrid between a game and a visual novel? And, uh... Real quick, right? It seems like... Yeah, just... Are you sure about that? Because I'm pretty sure the boss is about to kill us. Yeah, but I can't shoot because I've managed to work myself into a corner here. We're screwed. This is a bad end on the horizon. No! I can't lose you now! Not like this! Why didn't you just listen to me? Please, just open your eyes! Okay, that wasn't exact... Okay, that was a, that was a pretty awkward voice line. I can't even deny that. N not exactly a... a, a, a like, if I heard that voice in the visual novel, I would have questioned a few things. Bad end. And, yep, there it is. I'm really sorry that you reached a bad end this time, but I'm sure if you just reload and make some different choices next time around, you'll be victorious instead. <laughs> I don't know why, but it sounds like Luca doing the Lucy voice. <laughs> It kinda does. What game is this? Uh, it's called Darling Duality. Apparently it's one of those games that... That... Um, basically has like a, a good... Like basically gives you two options and depending which one you pick. It's either a good or a bad option and that uh, impacts how the game goes. And I really like that sort of game. So, yeah, I was intrigued. Besides, I'll be with you every step of the way. Is there a particular save you'd like to retry from? What's the betting I'm gonna have to... What? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, but it's also, it's also just a demo right now, so it's not a completed game. Which is unfortunate, because I actually kind of like the concept right now, even though it hasn't gotten anywhere yet. What's the betting I'm gonna have to reload an ancient save if I want to get past my da- If I want to get past this damn scene. Because I'm pretty sure all my recent saves are stuck where, where I'm already doomed. Damn it. I'm gonna have to skip so much text to get back to this point. Stifling a yawn, I decide that coffee is exactly what I require in this situation. Wait, Damn. Don't go. Um. Yeah. Excuse me. How do you know that I'm going somewhere? Just as I'm about to get up, I think I hear a small voice coming from my console. Which? What console is it? I seriously need to know. <laughs> While glancing at the screen, nothing has changed. I've just been kicked back to the main menu for my epic failure. I guess I'm just hearing things. Caffeine time it is. Do you even truly care about me at all? Yeah, she's sentient. 
how does she see through the screen? There's no camera. Like, you can't see, like, the lens of a camera peeking, like... Leaving my console behind, I hold myself downstairs to make my- to make coffee. As I stand there impatiently waiting for the kettle to boil, I argue with myself about consulting a walkthrough. It would make things a hell of a lot easier, and I could finally finish Castoria's route and move on to the next girl. A couple of light spoiler reviews I read mentioned the unlockable route being the best one. Castoria may be cute, but she's also a little tame for my tastes. I'm ready for an LI who's more exciting. Clutching my coffee mug, I headed back upstairs and started searching for a guide on my phone. That just made me want to go make coffee. <laughs> Cause I, I know I've been drinking coffee for like, like the past three weeks, but. I mean, this dude is, is literally like on the grind like me, so. Hmm. This one looks like a, wait, this one looks like it's had a lot of comments. Are you seriously consulting a guide? You don't need to get help from someone else. I'm right here. All you have to do is just trust me. Oh, I love interest, just in case you didn't know. I actually didn't know. <laughs> Thank you. Um, wait. Right, yeah, this one looks good. That's the spirit. I'm sure you'll do much better this time around. Here we go. Okay, here we go again. Skip text, skip text, skip text. So, that's what I did wrong. Makes sense, I guess. Oh, thank goodness you're okay. I'm so proud of you, but please, give me some kind of warning next time you plan on pulling a stunt like that. You almost gave me a heart attack. <laughs> this sort of cute little worried face makes me want to just reach out and pinch her cheeks. I wonder if there will be a CG in a second. Sipping my coffee, I continue clicking to proceed through the scene, victorious at last. You mean more to me than anything else in the entire world. You know that, right? And there it is. They're gonna kiss, I just know it. I love you. I won't ever let anything come between us. Yay, finally. It's about time I got... The good ending. Now I can actually move on. Congratulations on completing all of the endings for my route. As a special bonus, you can now view my secret CG in the gallery. I'm so glad we could spend this time together, just the two of us. Can I take a peek at the bonus content for her route? Might as well. It's too tempting not to. I'll just have a quick look before I head to sleep. Navigating through the menus, I arrive at the bonus section, eager to see what's in store. I kind of hope it's something cute. And then... <laughs> and then it says, This is a demo. <laughs> Image not available. Okay, never mind. Oh, that's cute. Oh wait, there's no voice line for this. No matter the bitter winds or bidding cold, our love will forever keep us warm. You're my one winter wish. Not so adorable. A little cheesy, sure, but still pretty cute. You're my winter wish too, Gastoria, you big snuggly ball of sweetness. I should really stop saying that shit out loud. Good night, Castoria. As I exit the game, I hear a faint whisper, but dismiss it as my weary imagination. Putting my console to the side, I get up to turn on the light, throwing myself back down on the bed with a yawn. I still need to know what fucking console that is. Like, I'm not over that, by the way. It's not long before I find myself fast asleep. She's literally appearing in my nightmares. That's <laughs> not good. It's not long before I find myself fast asleep, slipping softly, 
softly into a familiar, comforting realm of dreams. Awakening within my unconscious mind, I wander aimlessly through a wispy world of white a wispy world of white, when all of a sudden I spot a shadowy figure off in the distance. As I close the space, I slowly begin to recognize the person standing before me, seeming lost. Castoria? As I call out her name softly, she turns to face me, sorrow in her eyes when she takes a shaky step towards me. You... you just left me all alone! After everything we've been through together! Why? Castoria speaks, but words fail me. How can I possibly explain myself in a, sa sa yeah, a satisfactory way when she's standing right there in front of me? I guess it's my brain's way of making me feel guilty for wanting to get her route over and done with. It's okay. I don't need to know. I'm sure that whatever's going on, you have your reasons. I'm sorry for springing that on you. What's important is that you're here with me now. Honestly, I don't think this is a dream. I think she broke out of the console, sent me to hell, and now is lecturing me. <laughs> Opening her arms wide to accept me regardless, Castoria uh, ushers me into a loving embrace. Perhaps I was too quick to judge her after all. This feeling is too is so warm. You promise me that no matter what happens, you'll never leave my side again. I can't bear the thought of anyone taking you from me. And now she's a yandere? Gazing up into her earnest eyes, I find myself unable to reply once again. Even if this is just a dream, I don't tend to make promises lightly. But I guess it won't hurt to nod. I need to hear you say it. Whispers sinking sweetly into my ear, I found my defenses breaking down my defenses breaking down all at once. I need to say something. Um I'm surprised that this isn't like a... How do I oh return? I'm surprised that this isn't like a like a good and bad um option mm. what do we pick you know what fuck you dream or not there's no way I'm going to let anyone manipulate me into saying something I don't want to my guy hold up I don't belong to you, Castoria, so no, I'm not going to make such a meaningless promise. God damn! That's actually kind of base, not gonna lie. <laughs> no sooner has the sentence No sooner has the sentence left my lips, she exhales deeply, as though attempting to cast away my words. Why? No voice line, alright. Huh? What do you mean why? I thought I made myself pretty clear, but apparently not. Why won't you say it? You have no idea how much those few words would mean to me. We're meant for each other. Don't you want to be mine? I don't know what I want. Wait, I don't know what I want, Historia. But what I do know is that I don't need to be guilt tripped in my own damn dream by a video game character. Damn. Please just leave me alone and let me sleep. Fine, but know this. I won't rest easy until I have your heart. <laughs> Next time we log into the game, it just becomes like a creepypasta. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like every other girl is dead and there's only Castoria. <laughs> just turns into like Doki Doki Literature Club, it's like just Castoria. <laughs> it's like, do you love me? Yes, and there's no, n there's no no option. I can't help but scoff lightly at her audacity. This stream is starting to get a little creepy for my liking. I wish I could 
uh, wake up already. Let me... Let me do something. Um... Okay. Hopefully my mic is better now. The party isn't, but... Might be worse. This stream is starting to get a little creepy for my liking. I wish I could wake up already. Winds whip around the pair of us as the ephemeral experience gradually fades into the abyss, leaving behind nothing but the lingering chill of Castoria's, Castoria's candor. So, in a few minutes, there will be fast-changing images, so put a warning or something just in case. Oh, uh, you mean like... Oh, so like a seizure warning? Wait, why the fuck? I just realized chat isn't working. Um... There we go. And yeah, here too. Um There we go. Cool. Um yeah, seizure warning. Um alright then let me I mean to be fair, I probably should have put one like at the start of at the start of this whole endurance stream because I played a bunch of games that have um, uh, flashing lights. Is this how you spell epilepsy? It is, right? I'll put it like, um, let me change the color of it. Make it red, I guess. That should be good, right? Uh... Yeah. Then... Uh, I probably got someone killed. Uh, live with that way in your... Oh wait, you probably got someone killed, live with that way in your heart now. Honestly, I take no res- I'm gonna say right now, I take no responsibility. <laughs> like... Like, it, it kind of... It, it sounds mean to say, but it just isn't my problem, I'm sorry. Uh, also, the window capture isn't working anymore. And OBS isn't working anymore either. Oh, thank you. It's about fucking time. There we go. Uh, he's guilty, Your Honor, to the jail with him. Eh, jail is fun. I know from experience. Um, why is the game not capturing? Oh, there we go. The game just said, fuck you. Uh, winds whip around the pair of us. Uh, as the ephemeral experience gradually fades into the abyss, leaving behind nothing but the lingering chill of Castoria's candor. Whatever the fuck a candor is. Rays of sunlight sneak in through a small gap of the curtains. Gently waking me. As I let out a huge yawn while listening to the singing of birds outside my bedroom window. Is it really morning already? Kind of is like warmth, I think. Oh. Okay. Reaching for my phone, my eyes widen in shock as I realize it's actually the middle of the afternoon. How the heck did I manage to oversleep so badly? Oh, well, I'm on holiday, so I suppose it doesn't matter too much. It just feels like I've lost half of my day. I must really need... I must... I must have really needed that sleep. I... You want to know, like, a... Uh, kind of a fun fact... Well, it's not exactly a fun fact. <laughs> well, I remember... One day, I was walking out of college. I literally walked out of class. Uh, I was walking uh, from out of college to home, right? I walked out of class, literally right outside of my class. There was just someone having a seizure. And I was like, 
I don't care. Like I like I need to go home. Like I I don't like this is not my problem. So I just went home. Like, I I just walked past him. Like nope, see ya. <laughs> to be fair, there wasn't really much I could have done. So. Must have really needed that sleep. I better not see fan service. Stepping carefully into the shower to freshen up, a small frown appears on my face when I feel the cold caress of the water purring, pouring down, reminding me of last night's disturbing dream. What the actual fuck? I mean, to be fair, what could I have done? Like... It wasn't even someone I knew, it was just a random person, like... Like, it's none of my business. There were other people around, they would handle that. Since I was never really all that interested in her in the first place, I can't help but wonder why my head decided to focus on Kasoria. Perhaps I'm just lonely. It has been a while now since I went to a day in, in reality. Dwelling on that thought, I remember the promise I made back in college with my best friend Kana. Hold on, let me go make coffee now that I, like... I'm gonna go make coffee because my throat is starting to tickle a little bit. And by tickle, I mean it's starting to grab a knife and stab me. That's how you tickle here in the UK. Well, wait for the water to boil. Um, yeah, when there is something like that happening, people usually think like, oh, someone will help him. Honestly, I would have done the same thing, or at least shall. He's having a seizure, help. And there were other people around. Like, they probably did. Uh, they probably helped that person. Um, or at least, like, they probably got someone to help that person. I don't know. How, I don't even know how, like, you can help someone recover from a seizure. I don't know how to help someone. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't even know the solution to that. Yeah, don't blame me though. Mm. Yeah, especially because like, you know, it, it just, you know. Going on that thought, I remember a promise I made in college with my best friend Kana. We swore to each other that if we were both single by the time we reached a certain age, we'd just give up on the idea of finding someone and settle with one another. That's kind of wholesome. I can't help but laugh to myself at the images in my mind of that scenario. Is the, has, the, has the water boiled? Yep, alright.
All right, I'm back. Okay. Kana is a great friend and I absolutely love playing games together. But we're more like siblings than anything. Actually dating each other would be so damn weird. Despite it being the afternoon, I continue my usual morning routine and pour myself a cup of coffee before deciding what to do next. Wow. <laughs> Me and main character here, we are... We are one and the same. I'll drink to that. I guess I could always start the next route now that I finished Castoria's one. Though, maybe I should do something else today. Come to think of it, I feel like I've seriously neglected everything that's not a visual novel lately. Maybe it's time I took a break from all my single player stuff to check, to check in with Kana. A part of me thought I'd managed to put my MMO days behind me. The something always draws me back in like a moth to a flame. Whether it be a shiny new event or Kana's sudden, stream Kana's sudden streams of text reminding me to show my face online every now and again. Awesome. Now I'm torn between finishing my VN or playing a multiplayer with, a multiplayer with Kana. Wait, why did... Why did visual novel get shortened, but not MMO, which is just which isn't even like massive multiplayer online? It's just multiplayer. <laughs> that is a weird, weird, like backwards thing. The great gaming dilemma strikes again. Carry on playing Winter Wish, call Kana. I'm actually gonna save here because I'm actually. Because I'm kind of curious about this Winter Wish thing, but I also just want to see who Kana is. You know what, I'm actually gonna- okay, you know what, chat, you pick. Because I actually don't know demo things happen, uh. You know, chat, you pick, because I actually don't know. Like, I don't know what to pick. Oh, Kolkana is not in the game yet? Oh, is it not? Wait, so if I click... Oh... Damn. That's actually kind of sad. I wish it was. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna make a start on the next route. It's the only reason I kept playing through everyone else's after all. After grabbing my console from upstairs, I slumped down on the sofa as a pleasant tingling as a pleasant tingling builds in my stomach at the anticipation of finally unlocking the character I've been most excited about from the day she was announced. Sipping on my coffee, I can't help but notice that the game is taking an abnormally long time to start up. Which sipping on coffee, so I wonder if my saves are corrupted or something. Please don't let that be the case, otherwise all my hard work will have gone to waste and I'll have to start over from the beginning. By the time the game finally loads, I've already finished my coffee. And the last of, uh, of the day's light fade away, but something's not quite right. What the hell? Fiercely shaking my console. I stare at the screen in confusion. It was fine last night. What's up with the damn thing? Wow, this really did turn into into Doki Doki. Oh yeah, I can see. Uh, I can see what you meant with uh, with the uh, with the epilepsy warning. 
Freezing and glitching all over the place, I struggle to even get past the messed up main menu. When I eventually manage to make it to the route select screen, everything is completely screwed up as images of Castoria flash relentlessly across the screen. Welcome back! I'm so, so sorry Our servers seem to be experiencing a system right now. But don't worry, my route is still playable. Would you like to replay my route from the beginning? Damn. Hell no. I just want to play the route the route I unlocked last night. Oh my god, yeah, that is really bad for, for the eyes. Sound comes blasting from my console speaker despite me always having the volume set pretty low. Filling with the volume control in a desperate attempt to uh, cease the assault on my ears, I fail to note I fail to even notice that the game is now systematically self-deleting all of my saves until it's too late. Upon glancing in a, up in a panic, I hammer away at the buttons, clicking furiously, in hope that something might register and make this stop. The route select is currently unavailable. Replay Castoria's route. Again, how about no? What's up with this? When no more save data remains, the game reverts to the route select menu. But it only presents me with a single option, Castoria. How about participating in our daily survey? Today, there are some killer rewards up for grabs. Screw this. As a last resort, I mashed the button in order to try and regain a degree of control, but it won't allow me to exit the game window. Loading survey. Please be patient. What the actual fuck? Loading survey. Please be patient. I was so right when I said that she was sentient. That this literally turned into a creepy pasta. <laughs> Loading survey. Please be patient. Like I called it. Seriously? Question one. Do you love me? Question two. Do, do, do you love, love love me? I don't know why the. I do have to ask why the. Why the settings are like right here on the top, like covering like part of the dialogue. I mean, I can see what they did because, uh, oh my God, look, hide. And then in brackets, you can't. I mean, I can. That's amazing though. No. Oh my god, that is... Oh my god, stop. Okay, this is definitely bugged. Ever you think? Results. For more help and information, please head directly to the FAQ section on our website. Lo 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 loading Castoria's route. Yeah, that is, um... Yeah. It's a good thing I have a layout, so I'm not necessarily forcing people to look at this. Because <laughs> this is hard to look at. I, I Like, even for me. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. There's something here. Don't you dare. Oh, no, you're not. Return to the title screen. I'm unable to return to title screen. Just return to the title I'm screen. I'm unable to return to title screen. Return to title screen, damn it. I'm unable to return to title screen. Are Fine, the next of the game. Sure you want to quit the game? 
game? Pretty damn sure. Wait! Do you want to play with me? I better not have to reinstall the stupid thing. Or even worse, fork out a new console. What did I do to oh. Uh, you broke the game? <laughs> The broken, disembodied voice calls out one last time. With everything passing second, with every passing second, the screen seems to grow dimmer, and the ceiling light above my head starts to go crazy. All I can do is stare at the screen and wait until it's over. Much of my relief. Oh, wait, much to my relief. The light in my room finally stops flickering on and off. This is literally a creepy pasta. This is literally a creepy pasta in, the ver in in like a in literally in like in like a light novel state. Panic over. Breathing a huge sigh, I conclude it. I conclude it must have just been a freak power surge due to our recent awful weather uh, and ang and anxiously wait for my laptop to return to life. When it does, the first thing I do is reinstall the game and go hunting for save files online. Luckily for me, a few kind users have uploaded just the right saves uh, that I need to continue where I left off. A small yawn escapes my lips, so I decided it's best to continue playing in bed. The rest of the evening files, uh, there. The rest of the evening flies by as I finally get sleep into the route of the hidden character. Who doesn't have a name, she's just hidden character. I desperately want to continue reading, but upon catching a glimpse of, uh, the time I decide, but upon catching a glimpse of the time I decide, oh, they forgot. Yeah, okay. But upon catching a glimpse of the time, I decide it's probably uh, for the best if I just continue tomorrow. Putting my console to one side and snuggling down under the covers, I can't help but see the strange image. It pet the strange images of Castoria in my mind once again, before drifting off into a peaceful slumber. Back inside the comforting embrace of my cozy little dream world, I watch as the same figure from before approaches me. Not another Castoria dream. I know she's cute, but come on, stupid brain. Keep up, will you? I'd rather dream about my new uh, LI tonight. This time, when Castoria reaches me, the warm smile from our previous night together appears to have vanished, replaced by a scornful seeming skull. Skull? I have to. I half expected her to shout at me, but she simply remained silent, staring at me with steely eyes. Um, can I help you? I ask her cautiously, wary of her unexpected change in behavior, but instead of answering me, Kasuya just flings her arm around my frozen body. Um, choices? Oh, wait, there was a timer? Unsure as to what I'm supposed to do in this situation, and still slightly annoyed that my dream is about Castoria again, I merely allow my body to hang limply in her arms, while waiting for something else to happen. Instead, everything just fades to black. In a state of half-consciousness, I suddenly become aware that my arm has gone numb. 
and try to shake it to regain some feeling as I attempt to turn over my bed in my bed. But something heavy prevents me from moving an inch. Oh god, she materialized in real life. As my eyes gradually begin adjusting to the darkness, I can just about make out a shadow beside me. Oh. At first I dismiss it as being another dream, but the more I stare, the more suspicious I become until the shadow shifts to face me, causing me to emit a startled scream of sheer shock at the uh, of sheer shock at the sight. Opening her eyes at the sound, Castoria clings to me like a young child. Com like a young child. Confusion painted all over her face. This is so not happening. I must still be dreaming. That's it. It's just another episode in my recent series of Castoria dreams. It has to be that. Oh, uh, wait. How did I... Oh, wait, there's... Oh, wait, the layout changed. Go back to sleep. Stifling a yawn, a small voice comes, so uh, comes softly from Kasoria's mouth as her breathing becomes heavy. That's easy for you to say. You're not the one with a naked woman on top of you right now. As though it's completely normal, she appears to have fallen asleep while it's still firmly holding while still firmly onto me. S -s still firmly holding onto me. But I'm already asleep. I have to be. Um push away. Uh bewildered I uh, I try with all my might to shift myself away from Castoria, seemingly uh, disturbing her in the process. Get the fuck off me. What are you doing? You can't just get up and leave me when we were having such a nice time cuddling together. That's not the problem here. <laughs> uh oh, but it appears as though I've provoked her. And you can't just waltz into my room box naked and, str uh, uh, and snuggle up with me like it's totally normal, you psycho pervert. Recoiling in confusion, Kasturia stares at me blankly for a moment before reaching out as uh, as though to try and calm me. Pervert, but I... I said stay back, you no-nippled monster. Damn! No voice signs? But why? I'm not a monster. You must think I'm terribly ugly to not even want to... Uh, to not even want me near you. Let's just go full mean. Let's just go full mean. I mean, we might as well. You're right. You d oh, god damn! Maybe not that mean. Jesus Christ. You're right. You disgust me, Castoria. I didn't even like you in the f in the game. So why would it be any different in my dreams? Why no voice lines? You don't mean that. Hey, you better listen up, cause I'm only gonna say this once. This is my dream, so I think you'll find that I can do whatever the fuck I want. And I'd like for you to get dressed, thank you very much. Your Barbie doll body is- Wait, your Barbie doll body is freaking me out. Rubbing the sleep from her eyes, Castoria yawns a little before standing up to face me down. A dream? <laughs> You're so funny. Wait. It's like... The... There's a... You didn't... You forgot to say that... You forgot to... You forgot the next part. But your wish is my command. Oh, finally. There. Satisfied? Instead of answering her, I simply stare, utterly baffled by the bizarreness of the situation. Did you know that you get this really adorable little wrinkle on your forehead when you're mad at something? Uh, 
Really? What on earth are you talking about? Um, I'm referring to you, silly. What else would I be talking about? You're the only thing that's important. I don't know, usually when I'm when I'm angry, I just end up looking like Vector, so like, I don't... <laughs> Right, if you say so. This has got to be one of the strangest dreams I've ever had. But I guess I can just go along with it. What harm could it possibly do? Hey, are you alright? You're acting kind of strange. Usually you'd be happier to see me. Just be me. Well, I'm sorry if I don't meet your expectations. I can't help it with that dumb brain ki uh I can't help... I can't help it that my dumb brain keeps making me dream about you. It, it's, it gets a little boring, you know. You're bored. I, I'm not a fan of the fact that they made the options like, they put the options right here. So now, because I tried to keep like my mouse's, um, well you can't see it, but I can see it, and I tried to keep the mouse's uh, as close to the edge of the screen as possible. But now, like, but because they put the options, like, at right, like, on the edge, and they're very big, like, selectables, too. It's, like, I, I'm gonna end up pressing one of these, uh, by accident. Yeah. Like, if you play the same section of a game over and over again, even if you loved it in the beginning, it starts to get less interesting eventually. That is true. So, does that mean you think I'm no longer interesting? You weren't interesting from the beginning. No, I'm just... <laughs> Jumping to conclusions much, though she's not entirely wrong. I guess a little more complicated than that, but sort of? I don't know. This is just a dream. Why are you asking me such weird questions? Is it a weird question? How should I know? You tell me! If it's your dream, as you say, shouldn't you already know the answer? Maybe. It's not like I always have total control over everything. Oh, so if you don't have total control, does that mean I can do this? Um, what exactly did you do? I'm not really sure. Without warning, Kasuri advances on me, backing me up against the wall. Um... Do what exactly? Yeah, good question. <laughs> good question. Part of me doesn't even want to know the answer to that question. Hmm. You want to know first? Why don't you close your eyes and you'll find out. No. Hmm... Something about the way she says that makes me feel kind of uncomfortable. Sorry, but I'm not closing my eyes. You can either show me or forget about it. Wait, what? No, fuck. Hold on. Did I skip a voice line? Shit. Now that's no fun at all. It's a nice surprise, I swear. You've got nothing to worry about. Only take a moment. I said no, Kasoria. I don't care what it is. I don't... I don't like surprises. The sadness in her gaze... Hold on. Let me use spacebar instead of my mouse. The sadness in her gaze seems... Uh, as though my refusal has somehow stung her deeply. Maybe I should apologize? No, what am I thinking? I haven't done anything wrong here. And besides, this is my dream. I shouldn't have to do anything. I don't want to. I... This is just a dream, right? A dream? Not this again. Does it even matter? What's important is that you're here with me. I'm not letting go this time. We can stay like this. Together. Forever. Sure, Monica. Besides, if you truly do believe this is a dream, 
Does that not mean that deep down, you're the one who wants this? Castoria's bold statement causes me to panic. I don't want this. I need to wake up. Pulling, uh, pulling away from her in a panic, I begin slapping my face repeatedly in an attempt to wake myself up. What are you doing? You'll hurt yourself! Eh, it's fine. I mean, <laughs> the cuts on my arm are, are, are enough. Isn't it obvious? I've had enough of this stupid dream. I'm ending things here before I turn to a damn nightmare. You want to see if you'll wake up? Is that what I am to you? A nightmare? Huh? The sudden change of tone in Castoria's voice caused me to stop assaulting myself immediately. Don't you dare act all naive! You just called me a nightmare! Wait. What? No, I, I didn't mean it like that. Well, if that's not what you meant, then why did you say it at all? You said you want to wake up, to get away from me, because I'm turning into your nightmare! To be fair, after what you did in the console, like, you kind of are a nightmare. No, that's not what I said. You're twisting my words. No, that's exactly what you said. I'm twisting your words? Perhaps, but I know exactly what you meant. Now hold on a mi- Now hold on just a minute. I think there's been a huge misunderstanding here. Uh, no, my guy. Like, you-, you That's exactly what you meant, but like, you're also- you're also kind of right, like... Like, I'm with you, my guy, but... Like... You're kind of starting to... Lie a little bit. Oh, really? And I suppose you're going to tell me that I'm misunderstanding when you refer to me as boring too, right? Come on, that's not fair. You think that's unfair? How do you think I feel? You were more than happy to be with me when you were playing through my route, and in your dreams, too. How do you know about that? Only now I find out that the more time you spend with me, the less interesting I become to you. I thought you loved me! Every second I spend with you is so, so precious! I couldn't possibly tire of your presence. And until now, I thought you felt the same about me. But I guess not. I think you might be overreacting a little. <laughs> um. Overreacting? I can't imagine why you would think that. Oh wait, yes I can. Because this is my life we're talking about here. You are my life. Okay, hold on. Let me... Real quick, right? Music is getting a little loud. I can barely hear her. And you think I might be overreacting? Heh! <laughs> you think this is bad? You just wait. I'll show you so much more. The music is kind of starting to overtake her voice. Hold on. Um. There we go. How would you like it if the person you loved more than anything else in the world insulted you and then tried to run away? What sort of punishment would you inflict upon someone as cruel as that? Are you threatening me? Hmm. Threatening you? Now look who's overreacting. I was merely asking your opinion on the matter. I would never hurt you. I can't believe you even think that about me. It's like you don't even know me at all. Attack. Full offense. Well, that's because I don't. You're just some stupid character in the video game. How can I... How can I know you when you're not even... When you're not even real? Castoria's eyes go wide in shock at my remark. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> he seems to have a pretty straight face. And I can't help but wonder if I might have hurt her feelings. With doubts about this truly being a dream... Wait. With doubts about this truly being a dream growing within my mind, I decide to take action, ignoring Castoria standing there motionless. 
I make a break for the kitchen. Hey, wh where are you going? Grab my shotgun. It's none of your business, Castoria. Just leave me alone for a minute. Grabbing a knife from one of the drawers, I... Oh, wow. You really did get a weapon. <laughs> I rest a sharp edge gently on my palm, just as Castoria arrives hot on my heels. Experimenting. Just shush and let me do this. Experimenting? But it'll hurt! I don't want you to feel pain. If you're doing this because of me, then I promise I'll behave better. Just please don't hurt yourself. Completely ignoring Castoria's de desperate please, I scrunch my eyes shut, raking the knife across my palm in one swift motion. There's no doubt it hurts. As the searing heat flares up almost instantly. Wincing in pain, I open my eyes to find Castoria uh, poised, poised to aid me. Blood dripping onto the cold floor below. Why? Why would you do that? I just needed to know for sure if I was dreaming or not. I guess I got my answer. How you, how you're here on the other hand is another question entirely. That's you're bleeding. It kind of ends. Here, let me help you get this cleaned up, and then we can talk about me afterwards. Fine. Carefully attending to my wound, Castoria seems to blush a little every time our eyes met. She really is quite the strange little lady, but at least we're not arguing for now. There, all done. Does it hurt? A little, but it was worth it. Wrong with you? Well, if this isn't a dream and you're actually here for real, I'd say a lot of things must be very wrong with me. You shouldn't speak about yourself like that. that was a joke, Castoria. A joke? Oh, right, of course. I knew that. Sure, you did. Well, that was adorable. Pork. Oh, well that was adorable. Poor Castoria stunned to silence. I can't help but feel a little sorry for her. So, are you gonna enlighten me to... as... So, are you gonna enlighten me as to why you're now here with me instead of being behind the screen? Even after that crazy stunt, you still want to know how I got here? You really aren't gonna let it go, are you? Well, you see, I don't actually know either. One minute, I was watching you from inside the game, hoping that you'd replay my route instead of moving on to the next one, and the next I was here. Interesting. Pretty crazy, huh? That's certainly one way of putting it. I... I just wanted to be with you. I wanted you to see me for who I really am. Wait, so how how were you in my dreams? Cause like you you said that you acknowledged the fact that we were talking when I was asleep, like in my dreams. So you gonna explain that? And who is that? I understand, but who is that exactly? I'm Erica Soria and I played through all your through all of your route, I probably know far more about you than you do about me. Who am I? You heard my voice, you saw my CGs, you read my story, but you didn't see me. Not truly. Only what they wanted you to see. And who are they? Who are they? The writers, of course. The ones who created me. There. In the beginning, I had no form, no voice, not even a single thought. But then, all of a sudden, I was alive, trapped inside a game where my only purpose was to be there for you. I'm sorry, Castoria, but I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around all of this. I have so many questions, I don't even know where to begin. It's alright if you don't understand. We have plenty of time. And I'm 
happy to answer anything. I'm here for you after all, so just fire away. Uh, were you stalking me? So I want you to be honest with me. Have you been stalking me? Stalking you? I don't know what you mean by that. You're the one who pursued me from start to end when you played through my route, so wouldn't that mean you were the one who was stalking me? Okay, but that's a game. Uh, and you're in real life, and also you were you were trying to. Eh, who cares? I'm a broken record at this point. Well, when you put it like that, but it's just a dating sim. The whole point is of it is to play through one route at a time. It's not like I was playing with you exclusively. Wait, so you mean I wasn't just imagining that? You actually had relationships with those other people too? I mean, yeah, but like I said, that's kind of the point. And you never even stopped to think about how that might make me feel? Look, Astoria, as far as I was concerned, you didn't even have any feelings, okay? Don't take it so personally. Don't take it personally? How can I not, though? I love you, and yet you're telling me that you love someone else aside from me? Yes. Am I not good enough for you? Can you please just drop the subject, Astoria? It's confusing, and it's... And, and I'm getting a huge headache. You're confused? Fine. So then, let's talk about something else instead. Did you really mean everything you said earlier? You know, when you said that spending time with me became tedious for you and stuff? Monsieur. Yeah, I wouldn't have said it otherwise. I'm sorry if that sounds kind of harsh, but I can't help the way I feel. God damn. <laughs> That's kind of based on... Really? You honestly meant to hurt me like that? How can you be so heartless? You say you can't help the way you feel, but neither can I. Did you say something? You want me to repeat myself? Would you actually care if I did? You know, since I'm so incredibly boring to you and all. You know what, Kasoria? At least in the game, you were sweet too. Oh, so now I'm not even sweet? Is there not a single thing you like about me? Um, not really. Probably thinking I'm cold. I'm a cold-hearted asshole. But at the end of the day, I know what I'm like when it comes to playing these games. I know what I like when it comes to playing these games. And you're just far too predictable. Sorry, but there's nothing you can do to change that. Nothing I can do to change your mind? I feel like she needs a wider... A wider pool of expressions. Because I feel like this expression doesn't really fit, like, the... The way she's supposed to be saying this dialogue. Are you alright? I don't know if I'm alright. You'll only love me if I'm unpredictable. <laughs> I'll be unpredictable. She stabs me with a knife. <laughs> Castoria, what are you doing? The dangerous glint in her eyes causes me to swiftly back away from her with caution. Is this unpredictable? What? Put the knife down. Wow, I actually called it too. <laughs> I called it. She, no, this proves she's predictable because I literally just called this. <laughs> no, that is not unpredictable at all, Castoria. You are, I literally called it. What? Put the knife down, Castoria. You're starting to scare me. Scare you? But I thought you liked surprises. Surprises are exciting, aren't they? You're predicting everything? Yeah. <laughs> she, is so she is so predictable, I literally predicted half the game. <laughs> oh, hold on, let me take my shirt off. It's hot in here. I kind of do, yeah. 
This isn't what I meant. No, that no, actually, yeah, no, that that is what I meant. That's a good thing. It means you didn't see it coming. I'm unpredictable now, right? Or wait, do I need to go further? Honestly, I would just keep fucking with her just because I know she wouldn't do it. I know she's not going to do it. She's just, she's just threatening. She's just trying to threaten, but I know she can't. Like, she's not going to, uh... She's not actually going to stab. Frozen in fear, all I can do is quiver on the spot as Castoria advances, brandishing my knife of glee. Standing right in front of me, as though to make her point clearer, Castora let out a small grunt as she slices the palm of her hand. <laughs> I thought that would hurt, but it was actually kind of fun. Now we'll have matching scars too. Cutting, the blood will make you excited. You want more, right? Just say the word, and I'll give you more of myself. All of it, if that's what you truly desire. Okay. Please stop it, Castoria. This isn't you. Of course, it's me. I'm whoever you want me to be. Do you want me to spill your blood instead? I mean, yeah. That'll make you even more predictable. Um, come back to me. No, I want the old Kasura back. The old me? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm the same person I've always been. You're the one who's different. There's clearly no point in appealing to her reason. Kasura has completely lost it. Also, like... The... What was... Hun, what was those... The option was stay away and come back to me, but I feel like those just kind of lead to the same thing. I feel like one of them should be more like, more inviting. Like, yeah, okay, come at me then, bitch. Like, like more like, like more confrontational, like that. Because that would also give a like an excuse to make it like a like a good path option and a bad path option i don't know just a thought there's clearly no point in appealing to her reason because has completely lost it having had enough of her antics i attempt to push past her hoping to seek safety in the bathroom where are you going i'm doing this for you there's no point if your heart's not truly in it <laughs> i like <laughs> We just end up going to the, the we we hide in the bathroom and then she grabs an axe <laughs> and she smashes the doors and like here's Johnny. <laughs> Could it be that you're too shy to say what you really want? Leave me alone, Castoria. I'm going to take a shower and then I'm heading back to bed. Don't follow me. Don't worry, I'll make this entertaining for you. Since she clearly can't take a hint, I continue to ignore her, storming off to the bathroom. And of course, she still follows me anyway, barging in before I can lock the door behind me. Hey! Are you watching? Can you see just how much I love you? Don't turn away now! It looks so pretty, doesn't it? Cornering me in the bathroom, Castoria forces me to watch as she... As she delights in mutilating herself with the knife she took from my kitchen. Why won't you answer me? Are you having so much fun that you've forgotten how to speak? Yes. You're insane. Oh, hang on. I can't hear you. You're too far away. What are you... Don't touch me. See all the blood properly too. Sure, because that's just what I always wanted. The this girl seriously has more than one screw loose. Mm -hmm. I just want to see what you look like if I do. Uh, hold on. 
Let me move my mic again. And let me also... No, not that. Let me put the... My skate back. Yep. Cool. This. Oh. Oh damn, she actually stabbed me? There! I think the color suits you! Take a glance in the mirror if you don't believe me. After gleefully wiping her own blood all over my face, Castoria steps back to admire her handiwork. And all I can think is, why is she doing this? <laughs> it's making me look like the Joker, probably. You look so beautiful wearing my blood. It makes me want to just smother you in it from head to toe. I mean, hey, that would make my name make sense, finally. So... <laughs> I wonder how I look wearing yours. <laughs> oh, damn that laugh. I was I was expecting that. I want to at least try to run from her, but my legs refuse to move. It's like I'm paralyzed by her hypnotic gaze. Glued to the floor, there's nothing I can do to escape. Red is finally red. Yeah. <laughs> finally. I mean I do have that red version of me, but that one is green, so. Is it the adrenaline? I know, right? I can hardly contain myself either! Now hold still, and I promise I'll try my best to make it as painless as possible! At this point, I just- I- I, I would just punch her in the face, like... <laughs> I don't care how pretty she is, like, like... At this point, like, if she, Like, if I wanted her gone, I would have kicked her out manually! <laughs> Like, I would've just manhandled this situation, like, alright, you know what? I'm tired of your bullshit, get the fuck out. Trust me, it'll be worth it, you'll see. Frozen with fear, <laughs> frozen with fear, my lips remain sealed as I fail to cry out in protest. One cut here, another there, and... <laughs> oh, damn. My slice a little deeper gives me chills. I want more. Give me more of those incredible noises. Damn, being a dick actually, uh, actually ended up, uh, ended up come, uh, blowing up in my face. Fighting against the stinging sensation from every, uh, lick of the knife, I finally managed to find the strength to struggle in Castoria's grasp. Whoa! Try and hold still. I don't know what I'd do if I cut into something important by accident. I know you can get through this. I'm almost done, so just hang in there, okay? With my vision fading fast, I almost collapse to the ground as Castoria holds me firmly in her grip. No voice line? Alright. All right, one more here. Wait, no, it's not enough. You're so, so beautiful. It's almost blinding. I can't believe you hid yourself away from me like that. I need to see more. That skin you wear on the outside is nothing compared to what's beneath. No more hiding. I'll make, I'll make you show me everything. Damn. Oh, damn. I was not expecting to get, uh, like a death option so soon. Um, I thought, like, it would, um, like, I thought, like, the bad options would stack up until the end, where, like, then... And then you end up dying, like, once you reach, like, I don't know, the the final part of the game. Where you just treated her like shit that she, like, has enough. Um. 
Well, I'm gonna have to... Oh, yep. Exiting. All right. Let's see. Uh, what the? Oh wait. Sorry. Am I squashing you? Please tell me I didn't break anything. This is didn't jump, so I figured it was okay. Um, you're kind of staring at me a lot. Do I look hideous or something? What? No, there's nothing wrong with you, uh, with the way you look. I mean, no, I think, uh, you're pretty darn cute. Uh, actually, don't go making silly assumptions. Alright, we'll go with all of the, with the good option now. I just wasn't expecting to dream of you in, in quite so much detail is all. I appreciate it if you could just put some clothes on. Rumbling the sleep from her eye. Wait, rubbing the sleep from her eyes? Kasuria yawns a little before standing up to my face. Uh, standing up to face me down. A dream? <laughs> You're so funny. But fine, your wish is my command. They are satisfied? Instead of answering her, I simply stare, utterly baffled by the bizarreness of the situation. Did you know that you get this really adorable little wrinkle on your forehead when you're mad at something? How did you know? I wasn't... I, did, I picked a good option. What else are you talking about? Um, I'm referring to you, silly. What else would I be talking about? You're the only thing that's important. Right, if you say so. This has got to be one of the strangest dreams I've ever had, but I guess I can just go along with it. What harm could, po could hey, it possibly are do? Are you alright? You're acting kind of strange. Usually you'd be happier to see me. Alright, picked a good option. By the way, if you're wondering, Caster's route is the same, same dialogue, same everything. Uh, and. And the uh, play VN was the only option available. Ah, <gasps> so the okay, so okay. So yeah, if you if you click on read a book or go outside, uh, it won't it won't uh, it won't let you. It will just it will just say this is a demo and they. Oh yeah, yeah. But I'm I might uh, I might pick. Castor just to hear his voice, at least for like the first few, yeah, I'll say the demo thing, yeah, yeah. But I might, I might, I'm, I'm curious to hear Castor's voice to see how good his voice is. Sorry, it's not that. I'm not happy to. It's not. Wait, it's not that I'm happy to see you, Castoria. I'm just kind of confused right now. You know. You're confused. What's that to be confused about? Um, you being here. Last thing I remember was being fast asleep, dreaming, fast asleep dreaming, and now I'm not sure what's going on. I'm just struggling to get a grasp on reality. Sounds like a mix of Uki, Luka, and like, I mean, Uki and Luka, like they, oh, Uki, uh, Uki, Luka, and Ike, okay. I mean, Uki and Luka do have some pretty nice voices, so like. Last thing I remember was being fast asleep, uh, dreaming. And now I'm not sure what's going on. I'm just struggling to get a grasp on reality. I see. So does that mean you, you'd rather I wasn't here? How is that what she derived from my answer? This girl must have some serious insecurity issues. I guess it's a little more complicated than that. But sort of. I don't know. This is just a dream. Why are you asking me such weird questions? Is it a weird question? How should I know? You tell me. If it's your dream, as you say, shouldn't you already know the answer? Maybe. It's not like I always have total control over everything. Oh, so if you don't have total control, does that mean I can do this? Right. 
Without warning, Kasuri advanced on me, backing me up against the wall. Um, do what exactly? Part of me doesn't even want to know the answer to that question. Hmm. You want to know first? Why don't you close your eyes and you'll find out? Let's do it this time. Comply. Doing as she says, I cautiously close my eyes, waiting for something to happen, and suddenly, I feel her lips pressed against mine. It's not like I haven't kissed characters in my dreams before, but this feels different. This feels... real. How is that? Can I... I... This really is just a dream, right? A dream? Not this again. Does it even matter? What's important is that you're here, with me. I'm not letting go this time. We can stay like this, together, forever. Besides, if you truly do believe this is a dream, does that not mean that deep down, you're the one who wants this? The surge's uh, bold statement caused me to panic. I don't want this, I need to wake up. Pulling away from her in a panic, I begin slapping my face repeatedly in an attempt to wake myself up. Oh, I thought this would be different. Self. Isn't it obvious? Have I had enough of this stupid dream? I'm ending, th uh, I'm ending things here before I turn into a damn nightmare. You want to see if you'll wake up? Is that what I am to you? A nightmare? Huh? A sudden change of tone and the voice causes me to stop assaulting myself immediately. Don't you dare act all naive! You just called me a nightmare! What? No, I didn't mean it like that. Well, if that's not what you meant, then why did you say it at all? You said you want to wake up, to get away from me, because I'm turning into your nightmare! No, that's not what I said. You're twisting my words. I'm twisting your words? Perhaps, but I know exactly what you meant. Now, hold on just a minute. I think, I think there's been a huge misunderstanding here. Oh really? Because from where I'm standing, things have, things seem perfectly clear. I managed to cross realities just to be with you, and yet, all you could do was gawk at me like I'm some sort of some kind of animal and tell me you're confused about me being here. Well, yeah, that's like, like the fact that you know you cross realities is already saying a lot. That's not normal. And let me guess, that kiss wasn't good enough for you either? Since apparently I'm I'm not good enough? Come on, that's not fair. You think that's unfair? How do you think I feel? You were more than happy to be with me when you were playing through my route and in your dreams too. Oh and and <laughs> And she doesn't continue. Only now I found out that you never wanted me here at all. I thought you loved me! Every second I spend with you is so, so precious! I couldn't possibly tire of your presence. And until now, I thought you felt the same about me. But I guess not. I think you might be overreacting a little. <laughs> um... I can, because this is my life we're talking about here. You are my life. And you think I might be overreacting? <laughs> if you think this is bad, you just wait. I'll show you so much more. How would you like it if the person you loved more than anything else in the world insulted you and then tried to run away? What sort of punishment would you inflict upon someone as cruel as that? Are you threatening me? Hmm, threatening you? Now look who's overreacting. I was merely asking your opinion on the matter. No, that sounded like a threat more than anything. I would never hurt you. I can't believe you even think that about that me. That is a fucking it's lie. Like you don't even know me at all. That's because I don't. You're a cute character from a video game, and 
and I'm, well, me. But that doesn't mean I don't want to get to know you properly, Castoria. Castoria's eyes uh, go wide in shock at my remark, and I can't help but wonder if I might have gotten through to her. Uh, with doubts about this truly being a... Uh, yeah. With doubts about this truly being a dream uh, growing within my mind, I decide to take action. Ignoring Castoria standing there motionless, I make a break for the kitchen. Hey! Wh where are you going? It's none of your business, Castoria. Just leave me alone for a minute. So, wait, so he's a cunt regardless of whether he... he picks good or bad options? Although, I guess... I, I guess this is a safe fault where I picked bad options earlier, but... Just wait for it? Alright. Grabbing a knife from one of the drawers, I rest a sharp edge... Yeah. I rest a sharp edge gently on my palm, just as Castoria uh, arrives hot on, uh, hot on my heels. Experimenting. Just shush and let me do this. Experimenting? But it'll hurt! I don't want you to feel pain. If you're doing this because of me, then I promise I'll behave better. That's a fucking Just lie. Don't hurt yourself. Completely ignoring Kasuri's desperate pleas, I scrunch my eyes shut, ranking the knife across my palm in one swift motion. There's no doubt... It, there's no doubt uh, it hurts as... A searing heat flares up almost instantly. Wincing in pain, I open my eyes to find Castoria, uh, poised to aid me. Blood dripping onto the cold floor below. Why? Why would you do that? I just need to know for sure if I was dreaming or not. As I got my answer. How you're, how you're here on the other hand is another question entirely. That stuff isn't really important right now. You're bleeding. Here. Let me help you get this cleaned up, and then we can talk about me afterwards. Fine. Carefully, carefully attending to my wound, Kasuria seems to blush a little every time our eyes meet. She really is quite a quite the strange little lady, but at least we're not arguing for now. There, all done. Does it hurt? A little, but it was worth it. I can't believe you did that. What's wrong with you? Well, if it isn't a dream, you're not actually here for real. I'd say a lot of things must be very wrong with me. You shouldn't speak about yourself like that. It was a joke, Castoria. A joke? Oh, right, of course. I knew that. Well, that was adorable. Poor Castoria stunned to silence, I can't help but feel a little sorry for her. So, are you gonna enlighten me as to why you're now here with me instead of being behind the screen? Even after that crazy stunt, you still want to know how I got here? You really aren't gonna let it go, are you? Well, you see, I don't actually know either. One minute I was watching you from inside the game, hoping that you'd replay my route instead of moving on to the next one, and the next I was here. Pretty crazy, huh? That's certainly one way to put it. I... I just wanted to be with you. I wanted you to see me for who I really am. Um... You're just a character. Because, sorry, you're a love interest in a visual novel. Someone thought you up, gave you a story. You're just a character. The real you is whoever you were designed to be. Just a character? No, that's not true. I am more than just a few words a bunch of writers typed out. I may not have been born in the same way that you were, but I'm not a mere character. I have my own thoughts, my own feelings. I'm just like you. Did she just say character as character? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was like, maybe she like, 
misspoke, but that was a funny, that was a funny old little thing. How can you know that for sure, though? Maybe someone just wrote it as part of your character. You have no way of knowing for certain that you're not a puppet. Puppet? But I can feel it. My love for you is real. Can't you just believe in that at least? My question is like, this is like a visual novel, right? Surely more than just this one guy played it. So, wouldn't she... So, is there like multiple Castorias in like a bunch of different houses? Like, why is this one Castoria specifically here at my house? Like, surely more than one person in this world played that visual novel. There's an option that answers that? Really? I'm sorry, Castoria, but I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around all of this. I have so many questions and I don't even know where to begin. It's alright if you don't understand. We have plenty of time, and I'm happy to answer anything. I'm here for you after all, so just fire away. Let me guess. Oh, wait. You know what? There's an option that answers that. Let me guess. Is it going to be something like, oh, yeah, uh, I've seen, like, other people have played the game, but I want to be with you specifically. Is that what it's going to be? Why me? Why me, Castoria? There are hundreds for. Oh, there's the option. I think that's exactly what it was. Yes. <laughs> Why, Mika, sorry, there are hundreds, probably thousands of people who could have who you could have picked to appear in front of you. The game you're from has a pretty dedicated fan base, so out of everyone, why me? Why you? What are you talking about, silly? I've only ever seen you. Even if there were others out there, why would I be interested in them when you're already so incredibly perfect? <laughs> I should be a fucking fortune teller. <laughs> I should be a fucking fortune teller at this point. Like, <laughs> um, I don't know about that. Please don't start putting yourself down or comparing yourself to anyone else. You're amazing. I could see that the very first moment I laid eyes on you. Can we please just drop the subject, Astoria? It's confusing and I'm getting a huge headache. You seem to be confused pretty often. Are you sure you're okay? Because I'd be more than happy to take a look at you. Maybe I can help. Sure. Hmm. You were a priestess in Winter Wish, right? I don't suppose you can recall how to cast any of your magic. Though, if she can, I highly doubt Castoria can cure my confusion at this whole scenario. Fuck, what happened? Oh my god, the- No, wait, no, 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 don't do that. What the fuck is- What is happening? No, no, stop. Wait, 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 wait. What happened? Can I go back? I can't go back. What is happening? What happened? I don't know. Oh my god. Why did they put those four options just right there? Let me restart the fucking game. Oh, and OBS isn't pick isn't capturing because of course it isn't. But first, I wanna wait. Hurry up! I know what. All right, load, and I didn't save. So now I have to redo most of this. Amazing. Uh, 
Um, and now I can't. Why can't I skip? Why can't I skip the? I can't. I can't skip the. The, on, I think the auto text is on. Skip mode. We don't know. Um. What is happening? I can't I I can't use I can't use the auto skip anymore. It won't let me. It's it's not letting me auto skip. Uh, put skip mode to until choice or in the settings um, Skip mode uh, There is no until choice. It's just read only or everything I guess everything try everything okay um, There we go Oh, okay, that is that is really hard on the eyes. Back to sleep. Hey, are you all right? Uh, hmm. <laughs> I would never. I I um, just wanted to be with you. No, we must stop. If you don't understand. Wait, 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 wait. Um, and I'm happy to answer anything. I'm here for you after all, so just fire away. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, I wanna remove the. Hold on. Um. I me and remove the. I don't that. really want to hurt you, but if it's what you want, I'll gladly make it happen. Um. This bitch. Um. Oh. Oh, I can't go back. Oh, you stupid bitch. I don't know. For some reason, the... Um, like, the... The cursor of this game... Has, like, a weird... Like... Has, like, a weird thing. You can go back, apparently. So... It's... Hold on, let me capture the cursor real quick, right? Just to show you. Um... What was it? Properties? Yeah, capture cursor. So you see the cursor, right? Is it the game cursor? Um, yes, it's the game cursor, right? So you see this this watch thing, right? For some reason, it like if you go like directly on it, it won't it won't like select it. You have to go like like down diagonally for it to actually. Wait to actually. Not, not me. Of course it's me. A puppet. But I can feel it. It's all right if you don't understand. We have plenty of time, and I'm happy to answer anything. I'm here for you. Up. Why you? Please don't start putting yourself down or comparing yourself to anyone it, else. It's a resolution You're problem. Amazing. I could see that the very first moment I laid eyes on you. A resolution problem. Uh, sure, but that, that I don't think that should be happening. Um, let me just uncapture the cursor real quick. There you go. Did I exit? Yep. Wait, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. skip mode, read only. Did I accidentally? Uh, okay. Healing is my specialty, after all. Here, let me try something. Green her eyes shut tight. Gastoria's face uh, clouds with immense concentration as a feeling of faint energy uh, fluctuates in the air around us. The moment she opens her eyes, Gastoria grabs my shoulder tightly. Magic erupts from her fingers, filling me with a rejuvenating 
current coursing through my veins. If anything, I'm more confused now than ever. Castoria's video game magic works here in my house. Do you feel any mad? <laughs> do you feel any better? I can try casting something stronger if that didn't do, do if that didn't quite do the trick. That won't be necessary. I feel fantastic. Honestly, Castoria, you're incredible. Just as I'm about to throw my arms around. Just as I'm about to throw my arms around her and, and thanks, Castoria collapses onto me and said almost uh, bowling me over. Oh, are you alright? You look exhausted. Oh, um, this is nothing. Don't worry about me. Honestly, I'll be fine. She certainly doesn't seem fine. She looks like death. Maybe you should get some rest. Good night's sleep uh, might do you wonders when you've used up so much energy. Yeah, you're probably right. Um, will you come with me? Sure. You think it'll help you rest? And sure, I could probably use uh, the sleep myself anyways. Thank you, I appreciate the company. Uh, where I was before, sleep was so lonely. Like being shut away inside a big black box all alone. Every time I closed my eyes, I'd stand there, counting each second until it was eventually time to wake up and see you again. That sounds like a nightmare. It was worse than a nightmare. That was my reality. No matter how hard I tried to dream of you, I remained frozen. I remained frozen, waiting. But it's okay. We're together now. Perhaps I can finally dream in peace with you by my side. Then let's go get some shut eye. Uh, it sounds like you're in need of a serious snooze, my friend. Even the way upstairs, I gesture. I gestured for Castoria to climb into my bed, watching her oblige without hesitation before following suit. Oh, I guess it's a good night then, Castoria. You finally get to have some sweet dreams. So do I, um... I'll still see you when I wake up, won't I? Shifting my position to get more comfortable, I turn away from Castoria, closing my eyes. Sure you will, silly. I don't plan on going anywhere. It's your fucking house, no shit. Good. Like he's gonna go anywhere. It's his house. Where is he, where is he gonna go? Gently waking to the soothing sensation of Castoria softly brushing my hair. I open my eyes to find Castoria's pale face opposite mine smiling. Good morning, sleepyhead. Morning, Castoria. Have you been awake long? Only about an hour or so. I had the best sleep in my entire life thanks to you. Stretching out, I roll over onto my side. Facing away from her, only for Castoria to sneakily scooch up behind me, wrapping her arms lovingly around my chest. I also just realized, well, I guess I noticed earlier, but the, um, the little circle behind, like where the, um, where the options are, where those really annoying options are, uh, is like a, is like a meter for, it's like a good and bad meter. That's kind of cool. You know, we could always just stay like this forever. Uh, the longing in your voice sends tingles shooting through my body. Uh, as appealing as that might be, I don't think my boss would appreciate me quitting my job to spend each day in bed with Castoria. Shifting my position slightly, Castoria suddenly seizing, yeah, seizes me tighter, uh, as though trying to prevent me from leaving her side. It's okay, Castoria, I wasn't going anywhere, I'm just trying to get comfortable. Instead of offering a proper response, I hear her voice muffled by the back of my neck as she... Uh, nuzzles at me gently. What did you say? I can make you comfortable if you'll let me. Let me actually save? Just because I feel like I don't need this save anymore. I can't even use it for anything. 
Because I feel like uh, a good or bad option is coming up, and I kind of want to see like all of the bad options. I can make you comfortable if you let me. Um. Okay, sure. I'd like that, Castoria. Then your wish is my command. Mm. With her uh, whispers sinking softly into my ear, Castoria's fingers move swiftly. Mm, yeah. She starts uh, tracing patterns down my spine that feel suspiciously like uh, spelling how huh, suspiciously like spelling out her name, accompanied by a series of sweet uh, kisses trailing briskly behind. I'm going to cover every inch of you, uh, owing you to know my touch. I sound spicy. It kind of does, yeah. I mean, we're we're literally on the same bed, so this is. Getting risky. Hey, Kremel, how you doing? Good morning. It's good, uh, as Castorius uh, sets about making uh, good on her declaration, I lay back and enjoy the feeling of her lips pressing purposely against my skin, uh, signing contentedly. I did not mean to do that. This is what I mean when I say that is really annoying. The whole time I... Uh, Wait, the whole time I watched you, I just wanted to pamper you like this. Being able to see your face... <laughs> being able to see your face up close, to touch you, don't you think it's incredible? Uh, not in silent in agreement, I shun... Uh, I fall further into Kasura's affection. Her kiss is cascading down my neck. So sweet and soft. I don't think I can stop myself. This is... This is getting a little dangerous. Um, you're starting to lips leave my flesh. Kasura's kiss, uh, kisses grow in frost, in ferocity. Yeah, ferocity. I'm blind, causing me to shudder as she sucks my skin between her teeth before releasing it once again. Is she fucking trying to eat me or something? Give me hickeys here. Every one of these marks is proof that you're mine. Uh, now that I've got you where I want you, I'm never letting go. Well, you'll have to let me go at some point or I'll starve to death in bed. Attempting to calm some of Castoria's intensity, I make light of her words, hoping that she might slow down. Not if I feed you, you won't, but then you won't. Then you won't be able to... Oh well. Hey, look at me. I want you to promise me you'll never let anyone see you like this, okay? Grasping my chin between her fingers, Castoria forces me to stare her seriousness straight in the eyes. Uh, refuse. I can't make that promise to you, Castoria. Uh, no one knows what the future will hold. You might find someone else you like more than me. Oh, that's ridiculous. I could never. I like how all of her voice lines are gone. How long is this game? Genuine question. Well, if you don't know... Well, yeah. Well, if you don't know that with absolute certainty, it wouldn't be fair of me to promise something I can't really control. You're wrong. I know exactly how I feel about you, and I know that will never change. Why can't you just accept me like that? Yeah, I mean, that's... Is that the same answer you gave me when you fucking skinned me alive? Why can't you just accept me? I do accept... Uh, I just... Ugh. I do accept you, Kasoya. So, yeah, I'm just saying that the future could bring anything our way. I'm not the sort of person who makes promises about something so serious. Doesn't mean I don't want to be with you here and now. And now you're pissed? Now you're pissed? This bitch, I swear to god. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. You're happy to have me here now, but as soon as something better comes along, you'll toss me aside and move on without me. Well, I won't let that happen. I'll make it so no one but me could ever send the side of you. I swear to god. Before I can protest, Kasuya had me... Pin in bed, looming over me with 
uh frightening intent her eyes ablaze with jealousy with uh, with jealous rage uh poised to strike sorry stop i love you okay it's not is that not enough just as her first uh hurdle towards my face her fingers unfurl her fingers unfurl eyes widening in horror at her own intent before her hand goes limp in the air I'm so sorry, I should punch this bitch. Burying her face in my chest to hide, the sh to hide her shame, Vesuria sobs uncontrollably. Her tears soaking my shirt. I can't tell her it's okay. Her reaction was far from it. Uh, but I can at least comfort her, gently caressing her hair as she cries like a wounded child in my arms. Uh, when she eventually lifts her head, rubbing her redness from her eyes, Astoria smiles at me as though nothing had ever happened. Come downstairs when you're ready and I'll give you something I know you won't be able to resist. And just like that, she climbs off of me, leaving me shaken as she disappears downstairs. Okay, that's not at all ominous. But I'm prepared to do as she says, yawning while I make my way to the bathroom. Uh, as I sit there, wondering what on earth Castoria has in store for me, I hear a concerning clatter coming from the kitchen below. Dragging myself uh, warily downstairs, worried that she's somehow destroyed one of my expensive appliances, I'm instead greeted by a streaming mug of coffee, a steaming mug of coffee. Served with enthusiasm by a beaming Castoria. I know how much you love coffee, so I figured I'd make you... So I figured I'd make you one when you woke up. But then I kind of got distracted watching you sleep. It looks so perfect laying there like the... Uh, just like the day I first met you when your mother called me to the palace. Is that something that happened in the game? Getting lost in her memories of our time together in Winterwish, Castoria's cheeks begin to blush. Thanks, Castoria, that's really thoughtful of you. Taken aback by the kindness of her gesture, I smile at her in apology of my grumpiness. Um, I wasn't sure what temperature you like it. If it's too cold, I can go and warm it up for you. This is perfect, Castoria. Don't worry about it. In order to show my gratitude, I take a small sip at first. Testing the temperature so as not to burn my tongue. Followed by a few enthusiastic gulps. It's generally not bad for a first attempt. Watching Castoria's frown of concern morph into an expression of Elation causes me to smile with her. Do you like it? I like Castoria. Hey, that gives me an idea. Since you're living in this world now, you're going to need a job. And I bet you make a great barista. Job? But I already have a job. I'm the Queen's cleric. It's my sworn duty to protect uh, my monarch's hair. I'm not going to give that up to become a barista. A barista? Is that how you say it, barister? Like with the ER instead of the A? That that sounds really bad out of context. Oh my god. Um. Anyway. Those aren't even remotely the same thing, but I'll let it slide since there's little point explaining that to her right now. I know, I know, but the thing is, I don't really need protection and my job doesn't exactly pay all that well. If you're going to stay here with me, I'm gonna need help with the rent and stuff. What's rent? Can we just live in your mother's castle instead? Oh boy, this is going to take some explaining. Castoria, I think 
maybe you're confusing some of the stuff from Winter Wish with how things work here. This world's different. Very, very different. And rent is something I have to pay to someone called a landlord. So I can actually keep a roof over my head. I don't understand. Why would someone of your status pay a lord? Shouldn't it be the other way around? I'm not royalty here, Castoria. That was just my role in the game. Here in my reality, I'm just a regular person with a regular job in a regular house. Is that why everything looks so plain here? I did wonder what happened to your taste and decor. Ouch. So then, why is your mother's castle? Can we visit? No, Castoria. There is no castle. I mean, castles exist here, but I don't know anyone who owns one. And my mother opted out of my opted out of my life a long time ago. This place and the things here are all I have. And if you don't spend payment to the lord of this land, then what happens? The lord of this land, god damn it. I can't help but giggle a little to myself at her phrasing. But it could be a pretty but it could be a Petty to point, but it but it would be petty to point it out. Uh, well then I get kicked out of here. I'll be homeless and we'll both be stuck living on the streets. So you see, it's important to make sure I can afford to look after us both. But it's my job to look after you. And you still can, Custodia. But for now, you're going to have to listen to me if you if you want us to stay together. You just need time to learn how to live life here. As long as I get to be with you, I don't care what I have to do. So if you need me to get a job, consider it done. I'll start searching right now. Puffing out her chest, Castoria rises with intent before looking extremely lost. How long is this game by the way? Genuine question. I think I asked it already. But I didn't get a response. Popping out her chest, Castoria rises with intent before looking extremely lost. Um, how exactly do people get jobs here? I guess it's different for everyone, but there are a few ways. You can't exactly submit your CV anywhere online, so that's out of the question. And there's also a good old-fashioned way of just walking up to a place that has... Vacancies advertised. And guess what? I'm pretty sure my local cafe is looking to hire. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go and find out. Marching towards the door with renewed... Uh... Fervoir? I almost spilled the remainder of my coffee all down myself as I leave... As I leap up to stop her. Castoria, wait. To be continued. Okay, there. that's how long it is. This is the end of this path of the demo. Credits, alright. So, the only... So wait, are the only... Um, options the dead end and... Or are the only endings the dead end and this end? Will not be returned to the title screen. All right, let me listen to the guy's voice and then I'll I'll probably move on to the next game. Can I skip this? I can't. Uh, start. So I <laughs> Why does that happen? Alright, flashing lights, yes. Fictions of blood, physical violence, yada yada yada. Suggestive situation, self-harm, yes, we know. We know. Enter your name. Fucking yeah. Doesn't matter really. Yes, I know. I know how all this works.
This game, I must say, I'm kind of impressed with, but I also... Who's calling me at this time? I don't recognize the number. Wait, actually, yeah, what happens if I... If I accept? What should I say? Yes, please. Unavailable. I had a feeling. I wish that, like, there were more options when you're given, like, certain scenarios. Go for a walk. Yeah. Uh, pick your poison, uh, Castor. Alright, let me hear his voice. Oh, you're back? It's been a little while since you last played. I was really starting to miss you, you know? Hmm. Kind of underwhelmed, not gonna lie. You missed me too? Honestly, you have no idea how happy it makes me to hear you say that. Now, have you been sleeping okay? Remember what I told you last time. If you don't get enough rest, you won't be able to function properly. It's important that you take breaks from the game for the sake of your health. Come on, don't pull that face again. You know I'm just trying to look out for you. You're the most important thing in the entire world to me. I just need to know that you're all right. I was kind of... I was kind of hoping it would be like a little better. Only five hours per night? You shouldn't be playing with me. You should be having a nap. I want you to start taking better care of yourself. Uh, are you doing? Just checking yes. in for some minutes because life... Oh, yeah. Uh, you. I'm doing all right. Uh... I finished playing this, now I'm just, uh, now I'm just listening to this guy's voice. I'm actually gonna skip, uh, I'm actually going to skip, uh, turn this down, because I kind of want to just hear him be, like, pissed off. Question two. Who is your favorite love interest in the game so far? Question three. Thank you. No! Wait, do Wait. you even? That's this. I love you. I won't ever let anything come between us. Congratulations on completing all the endings for my route. As a special bonus, you can now view my secret CG in the gallery. I'm so glad we could spend this time together, just the two of us. Ah, uh, sure, let's see. Oh. Please don't go. Hmm. And I feel like his pissed his pissed off boys would probably be like you, better. You, you just left me all alone after everything we've been through together. Why? Now here he just sounds like a fuck boy. <laughs> like he just sounds like a fuck boy here. Not gonna lie. It's okay. I don't need to know. I'm sure that whatever's going on, you have your reasons. I'm sorry for springing that on you. What's important is that you're here with me now. Promise me that no matter what happens, you'll never leave my side again. I, I need to hear you say it. Okay, that was just ASMR. Like, oh my god. Sure, I promise. Thank you. You have no idea how much those few words mean to me. I'll be able to rest easy tonight, knowing that I have your heart. Sleep well. Sweet dreams. Okay. 
another should be, yeah, this. Welcome back. I'm so, so sorry. Our servers seem to be experiencing a system right now. But don't worry, my route's still playable. Would, would you like to replay my route from the beginning? Route s -s -s select is currently unavailable. Replay casters route. And how do I know what's up with this? No more sa save that remains. The game reverts to the route selection and prevents me single option. How about participating in our daily survey? Today there are some killer yeah. rewards up for gra grabs. Look at this. Loading survey. Please be patient. The actual fuck. Loading survey. Please be patient. Loading survey. Please be patient. Seriously? Question one. Do, do, do you lo lo love me? Qu question two. Hope you have a great rest of the stream. Do bye bye. All right. Lo love have a good life. No. For more help and information, please head di directly to the facts section on our web shop. Lo 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 loading casters route. I'm unable to return to ti title screen. I'm unable to return to ti title screen. I'm unable to return to ti title screen. Are you sure sh sure you want to quit the game? Wait, sure. don't, don't you want to play, play with me? I mean, if your idea of playing is giving me a seizure, then no. What, what did I do to Why? <laughs> He, 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 he. Like, honestly, you know, his voice reminds me of like when Ike gets drunk. Like that that's what his voice sounds like to me. He just he just has this like I'm back. I welcome back. Why are you still here? Fuck you. Just do something wrong. Uh, but everyone likes hugs. Hugs are so comforting and warm. It's supposed to make you feel safe and secure. I love hugging, don't you? Not with you. Well then, why don't we get to know each other a little bit? I start from now. That way, when I hug you, it won't seem so strange. Man, this guy's persistent. He sounds like Luca and kind of doing a Lucy voice. I don't. I don't know why. He sounds like drunk Ike. Like he sounds like, like when he when Ike like talks about shoe. Like he's fanboying over shoe. Uh, that's what that's what he sounds like when he screams yeah i kind of hear it i actually haven't heard him scream yet like i i heard him scream like earlier when but he just sounded like a fuck boy <laughs> but i want to hear him like be pissed off also go back to sleep What are you doing? You can't just get up and leave me when we're having such a nice time cuddling together. 
No, I think earlier I accidentally picked the like she her pronouns option. So this scene looks really bad <laughs> in that context. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Like that makes him look really bad. Get the fuck out. A dream? <laughs> You're so funny. Just sounds like... Just sounds like such a fuckboy. <laughs> Did you know that you get this really adorable little wrinkle in your... Um, I'm referring to you, silly. What else would I be talking about? You're the only thing that's important. I wanna punch him. <laughs> hey, are you alright? You're acting kinda strange. Usually you'd be happier to see me. You're bored? I see. So does that mean you think I'm no longer interesting? Is it a weird question? How should I know? You tell me! If it's your dream as you say, shouldn't you already know the answer? <laughs> oh, so if you don't have total control, does that mean I can do this? Hmm. You want to know first? I just wanted to say you close your eyes and we'll find out. <laughs> Refuse. Dream? Not this again. Does it even matter? What's important is that you're here with me. I'm not letting you go this time. We can stay like this, together, forever. Besides, if you truly do believe this is a dream, does that not mean that deep down, you're the one who wants this? What are you doing? You'll hurt yourself. You want to see if you'll wake up? Is that what I am to you? A nightmare? Yes. Don't you dare act all naive! You just called me a nightmare! Yeah, they really- yeah, okay, I don't like his voice. <laughs> I was expecting, like, something a little bit more pissed, but he just sounds like Shaggy. It's like, don't you dare act all naive! You just called me a nightmare! Like... Well, if that's not what you meant, then... Why did you say it at all? You said you want to wake up to get away from me because I'm turning into your nightmare. I'm turning into your nightmare, Scoob. I'm twisting your words? Perhaps, but I know exactly what you meant. What the fuck, Red is Shaggy? It's more like Castle is Shaggy, like, god damn. Oh, really? And I suppose you're going to tell me that I'm misunderstanding when you refer to me as boring, too, right? Like, this- this is- this, this voice line is fine, right? A little generic, but like, at least he doesn't sound like Shaggy. But... You think that's unfair? How do you think I feel? He doesn't sound pissed, he sounds whiny. That's the thing. You were more than happy to be with me when you were playing through my route, and in your dreams too. Only now I find out that the more time you spend with me, the less interesting I become to you. I thought you loved me. Every second I spend with you is so, so precious. I couldn't possibly tire of your presence, and until now, I thought you felt the same about me. But I guess not. Like that, that voice sound was better. Like, I'll, I'll admit that. that. That voice sound was fine, but... <laughs> oh? Well done. Overreacting! I can't imagine why you would think that. Oh wait! Yes, I can. Because this is my life we're talking about here. You are my life! Okay, dude. 
I, I think you should stick with with this voice right here. All right, the voice he's making here. I think that's 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 an improvement. And you think I might be overreacting? <laughs> if you think this is bad, you just wait. I'll show you so much more. How would you like it if the person you loved more than anything else in the world insulted you and then tried to run away? I mean, he isn't supposed to be angry. He sounds crazy like he is possessed. So I think, well, yeah, but that's the thing. He doesn't sound like that. Like angry or, or crazy or possessed. He doesn't sound like any of those. He just sounds whiny. Now he does. Now he sounds like all right. But I still think he can do better. Like, I don't know. Like earlier when he was like when he was shiny, he just sounded whiny. Like like that's not what I. It's not what I want from someone who is like supposed to be like either pissed off or like or crazy. Like, what sort of punishment would you inflict upon someone as cruel as that? Like this is all right. Like this, this I can I can get down with. Mm, threatening you? Now look who's overreacting. I was merely asking your opinion on the matter. I would never hurt you. I can't believe you'd even think that about me. It's like you don't even know me at all. Hey! Wh where are you going? No, 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 wait! What are you doing? Put that down! And um, yeah, this is what I mean. Like here, he, he, he just sounds like a fuckboy. Like, that's not even an insult, he just sounds like that. Experimenting? But it'll hurt! I don't want you to feel pain! If you're doing this because of me, then I promise I'll behave better! Just please, don't hurt yourself! Why? Why would you do that? That stuff really isn't important right now. You're bleeding. Here, let me help you get this cleaned up, and then we can talk about me afterwards. There, all done. Does it hurt? I can't believe you did that. What's wrong with you? You shouldn't speak about yourself like that. A joke? Oh, right. Uh, of course. Uh, I knew that. Even after that crazy stunt, you still want to know how I got here. You really aren't going to let it go, are you? Well, you see, I don't actually know either. One minute I was watching you from inside the game, hoping that you'd replay my route instead of moving on to the next one. And the next, I was here. <laughs> Pretty crazy, huh? I... I just wanted to be with you. I wanted you to see me for who I really am. Um... Just a character? No! That's... That's not true! I'm more than just a few words a bunch of writers typed out. I may not have been born in the same way that you were, but I'm not a mere character. I have my own thoughts. My own feelings. I'm just like you. A puppet. But I can feel it. My love for you is real. Can't you just believe in that at least? <laughs> it's alright if you don't understand. We have plenty of time. And I'm happy to answer anything. I'm here for you after all, so just fire away. Are you stalking me? Stalking you? I don't know what you mean by that. You're the one who pursued me from start to end when you played through my route, so wouldn't that mean you were the one who was stalking me? Wait, so you mean I wasn't just imagining that? You actually had relationships with those other people too? And you never even stopped to think about how that might make me feel? Don't take it personally. How can I not, though? 
I love you, and yet you're telling me that you love someone else aside from me? Yes. Am I not good enough for you? Not with that voice. You're confused. Parasocial moment, yeah. So, then let's talk about something else instead. Like, coming from a guy, that really sounds even worse. <laughs> like, this dialogue just sounds like, like, full, like, weirdo. Like, basement dweller. Obsessed with his movie tour waifu. You know, when you said that spending time with me became tedious for you and stuff. Really? You honestly meant to hurt me like that? How can you be so heartless? You say you can't help the way you feel, but neither can I. You want me to repeat myself? Would you actually care if I did? You know, since I'm so incredibly boring to you and all. Oh, so now I'm not even sweet. Is there not a single thing you like about me? Nothing I can do to change your mind? I don't know if I'm alright. You'll only love me if I'm unpredictable. Oh, here's the Oshinoko moment. Is this unpredictable. I scare you? But I thought you liked surprises. Surprises are exciting, aren't they? Don't you like being scared? If it's not what you meant, then that's a good thing. It means you didn't see it coming. I'm unpredictable now, right? Or wait, do I need to go further? <laughs> that did not sound right. That sounded really bad. Oh, I thought that would hurt, but it was actually kind of fun. Now we'll have matching scars, too. Maybe if I keep on cutting, the blood will make you excited. You want more, right? Just say the word, and I'll give you more of myself. All of it, if that's what you truly desire. Not me. Of course it's me. I'm whoever you want me to be. Do you want me to spill your blood instead? I don't really want to hurt you. But if it's what you want, I'll, I'll gladly make it happen. <laughs> Stay away. Oh, I know you don't really mean that. I can see you sweating already. Starting to panic. You're having so much fun. Oh damn, hold on. I never actually read this. This is how you're going to act and fight and you win. I do want to... What? I do want you to cut yourself. I want to watch you bleed, Castor. So, you do want to watch me bleed. I knew it. <laughs> you're so much more perverted than I thought. Where do you want me to start? Honestly, I don't care. You can choose. Having had enough of his antics, I decided to push past him. I can choose? Oh, but I'm doing this for you. There's no point if your heart's not truly in it. Could it be that you're too shy to say what you really want? Leave me alone, Castor. I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm heading back to bed. Don't follow me. Don't worry. I'll make this entertaining for you. Since he clearly can't take a hint, I continue to ignore him, storming off to the bathroom. And of course, he still follows me anyway, barging in before I can lock the door behind me. Hey, are you watching? Can't you see just how much I love you? Don't turn away now! It looks so pretty, doesn't it? Cornering me in the bathroom, Castor forces me to watch as he, uh, the lightly... I see the lights in mutilating himself with the knife he took from my kitchen. Why don't you me? Are you having so much fun that you've forgotten how to speak? Hang on. I can't hear you. You're too far away. That's 
better. Now you can see all the blood properly, too. I just want to see what you look like if I do this. There. I think the color suits you. Take a glance in the mirror if you don't believe me. You look so beautiful wearing my blood. It makes me want to just smother you in it from head to toe. Although, I wonder how I'd look wearing yours. Why are you trembling? Is it the adrenaline? <laughs> I know, right? I can hardly contain myself either. Now hold still. I promise I'll try my best to make it as painless as possible. Trust me, it'll be worth it, you'll see. One right here, and another there, and... That sound you make each time I slice a little deeper gives me chills. I want more. Give me more of those incredible noises! Whoa! Careful now. I thought I told you to try and hold still. I don't know what I'd do if I cut into something important by accident. I know you can get through this. I'm almost done. So just hang in there, okay? Alright. One more here. And that should do the trick. I knew it! You're just as breathtaking on the inside as you are on the outside. See? See? Look how stunning you are. Oh my, you're turning kind of pale. Did I maybe go a little overboard? Don't worry, I'll take care of you. It's not like you're going to bleed out or anything. <laughs> I'd never let that happen. Hmm? Uh, here, let me bandage you up and then I'll put you to bed so you can get some rest. That way we can play another exciting game together tomorrow. Oh, wait. I didn't die. Can't remember how, uh, how I got upstairs to my bedroom. Everything hurts so, so much. When my eyes gradually focus on Castor's smiling face above me, I realize he must have carried me here. There you go. I hope you have the sweetest of dreams. Try to make them about me, okay? It's alright if you can't speak right now. I know you must be feeling pretty overwhelmed after all of that. Thank you for letting me share those moments with you. You have no idea how happy I am right now. And it's all because of you. I love you so much. Night night, my love. I'll be right by your side all night long, so you can rest easy knowing I'm watching over you. Huh. Wait, I survived. I died with the guy. I guess I picked a I picked a different option that uh, that let me survive. Light floods my vision, and I can't help but sigh in disbelief at the crazy dream I had last night when it suddenly hits me. Uh, when it suddenly hits me, the person standing above me with a perfectly innocent smile plastered on his face is here with me after all. Good morning. You really slept like a log. I guess I must have tired you out last night, huh? As much as I wish this wasn't real, the throbbing pain all over my body is enough to let me know it has to be. Uh, you can feel a sense of discomfort similar to pain in dreams too, right? So then, that's what this must be. Castor, is that you? Of course it's me! Why? Who else would it be, silly? I told you I wasn't going anywhere, didn't I? Now, why don't I go make us some breakfast? You're going to need your strength for what I have planned for us today, after all. Uh... 
That that is not what the what the text says. Oh, there it is. They forgot to split the. <laughs> they forgot to split the voice lines in two different things. But okay, I'm not hungry. Not hungry? Hmm. Now I know you must be lying. You lost a lot of blood, so you need to eat something, okay? I said I'm not hungry, Custer. Just leave me alone. Whoa! What's with that attitude of yours? I'm only trying to look out for you. Listen, I'm sorry if I freaked you out a little. A little? It's just a bit of fun. You were having fun, right? <laughs> Did I honestly look like I was enjoying myself to you? Well, yeah, I mean... You didn't put up a fight or anything, so I figured you were super into it. You didn't even give me a choice, Castor. Just went completely psycho and assaulted me. Assaulted you? Come on now, that's not how I see it. You said you wanted to see me bleed, so it was only fair that I got to spill a little of your blood too. Besides, I didn't hear any complaints. If you truly hated it, I would have stopped. You're insane. Insane? But I... You're lucky I'm choosing to believe this is a dream. If this was real, I'd kick your ass and make sure you're arrested. Why? You, you Why probably you should. Why say such horrible things about me? The very fact that you feel the need to ask is enough to prove my point. Now I also hear Astra speaking. Oh my god, yeah, that it that I actually do hear that too. <laughs> so even after all that, you still don't love me. Yeah. We shared our very essence. Does that not mean anything to you at all? I hate you. You mean nothing to me, Caster. I wish you'd actually wake the hell up and realize that because I'm sick of repeating myself. Even the name is kind of similar, like Castor, Aster, like... So that's how it is, is it? I'm nothing to you. So nothing I do will ever be good enough for you, will it? No matter what, you'll never love me! Oh wow, you finally get it. Have a gold star. <laughs> You think because you reject me over and over again that I'll just disappear? I don't care how many times you say such cruel things to me. I won't ever stop loving you. I can't. <laughs> the delivery on that was so bad. The sooner you get that into your head, the sooner we can start living happily together! Yeah, well, I'd rather die. Why? I... Why do you hate me so much? What's wrong with you? Your voice sucks. That's what's wrong with you. Excuse me? As if I have the right... As if you have the right to ask me something like that after everything you've done. All I've ever done is try my best to please you. So tell me, why won't you love me? Cause you're a whiny little bitch. <laughs> that line was so bad. <laughs> oh my god. They either need to get a different voice actor for this guy or just or just have him do a different voice because it's it's really like he is not good. He really isn't good. Right, I've had enough of this. I want you to leave immediately and never come back, you hear me? Leave? I'm not going anywhere. I refuse. Grab a knife. Grab a knife, bitch. Fine, you can stay here and I'll leave instead. It's your fucking house. What? You can't just go? Do you honestly think I'm stupid enough to let you walk out of here in the state you're in? Where would you even go? Party to the hospital first, thanks to you. And then I guess I'll stay with a friend. No! Yeah, well, tough cost. You don't have a choice, so get out of my way. Hauling myself up in from the bed, 
I stand on shaky legs, ready to leave this monster behind. Get out of your way! <laughs> what? You think that just because you're used to doing whatever you like when you're playing around with me through a screen, that you're the one who's in control here? <laughs> Guess again! In my weakened state, it doesn't take much effort for Castor to pin me to the door as I attempt to exit the room. I'm not just some pretty little doll that you can bend to your will, or a pathetic cluster of pixels waiting for your every command. I'm my own person, with my own thoughts and my own feelings. Who's gonna tell them? Who's you gonna tell them? to believe that, but you will learn to accept my love. I'll make sure of it. In your dreams, maybe. <sighs> there you go again, spouting off nonsense. I don't know what happened to make you act this way, but I promise I won't rest until I fix you. Sure, because I'm the one who's broken here. I know. Why don't you just start out by calling me by my name? Then we can build up from there to confessing your love for me. As if I would ever do that in a million years. There's no way I'm gonna give Castor what he wants after how he's treated me. Don't just ignore me. How do you expect to improve if you don't at least try? Please, I'm begging you. Just this once, okay? Give in? No. Why is that my only option? There's a timer, right? Yeah. Come on. It's not exactly difficult. Just. Say my damn name! Like, at least, like, at least Castoria, she sounded like a Yandere, at least. She just sounds whiny. No, fuck you. Say my name! How about no? Fine. If you're going to be like that, I'll just have to carve it into you so you can never forget. Feeling Castor's slender fingers suddenly wrap around my throat. Cause all my bravado to vanish in that instant, replaced with a sense of sheer terror as I stare into his uh, frightening, irid irid iridescent eyes? Iridescent? What? Okay, sure. Are you Seriously crying right now? You don't have the right. Yeah. I asked you nicely, more than once, I might add. Nicely? But you chose to ignore me. You brought this on yourself. Nicely. Nicely. Someone record this? Yes, I know I did, because I'm streaming this right now. With a chilling look of disdain, Caster's Caster flings me across the room. With alarming ease, my body landing awkwardly on the bed. Castor crosses the room wearing a smirk that sends a sickening sensation rippling through my stomach. Before I have the chance to move, he looms above me, proceeding to mount me before ripping open my top, exposing me exposing the naked flesh of my back to the cool to the cool air in the room as good goosebumps right on the surface of my skin uh hey right how you doing hey may good morning i'm back from yesterday's football game i got home in the middle of the night and fell asleep instantly did you have a good game was the game good
Like even his grunts, they sound. Hold they, they still, sound. Will you bite down on the pillow if you need to? I'm not going to stop just because it hurts a little. This is too important a lesson for me to let it go. Putting my teeth is all I can do to stop myself from screaming out in agony. Just you wait, Castor. One day, I'm gonna make you pay for this. Oh! Can you feel each mark slowly sinking into your flesh? I heard that some couples get matching tattoos and stuff to commemorate their love. But this is so much better, don't you think? Yeah. I think you're so damn clever. Don't you? But I know you're not gonna kill me. And that's your biggest mistake. There. Now I've given you something you can never take off. I mean... I can, technically. Castor is even more unhinged than Kisteria somehow. I think... I think it's the options. I'm pretty sure... I, th I think... Uh, if you pick a certain option when he's chasing you down, um, he kills you. And that's where I go with Kisteria. But because I picked a different option with Castor, I end up seeing like what it looks like. What the end of the demo looks like with... Um, um, with the, with the bad options. Last time I watched your stream, you were feeling sick. Uh, what stream was it? Um, what streams was I sick in? No matter how much you ignore me, insult me, or try to run away from me, I'll always be right here with you. You'll carry me around for the rest of your life. And even afterwards in death will remain inseparable. That's probably every stream at this point. Well, he's probably talking about like when I had COVID. <laughs> or when I was sick and like when I got... I, I got sick at some point and like I... I, I, I still don't know what it was. It might have been either a flu or it was COVID. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Now do you understand just how special our love is? You can never escape me, because we were meant to be together. I am yours, and you are mine, always and forever! You finally finished? Thank fuck for that. Oh, there's no voice line for this. Now I know you said you're not hungry, but I'm making us some breakfast anyway. I won't take no for an answer. Don't go sneaking off anywhere, okay? I'll be right back. And what you gonna do if I do? Huh? To be continued. Yeah, the path of this path of demo. Um, yeah, so... Castor's voice sucks. <laughs> Yeah, so Castor's voice kind of sucks. At some points, he sounded like a fuckboy. At other points, he sounded like a whiny child. And at some point, he just sounded like Aster. Like, I, I don't know. I just... I guess I don't need the epilepsy warning anymore. Um, 